One of the most important tools we use when trying to get the most of our vehicles today is the wideband air fuel gauge. Designed to provide real-time monitoring of your exact air fuel ratio, these gauges are invaluable in extracting the most performance from your engine while avoiding potentially dangerous lean burn conditions. Compatible with most fuel types, carbureted or fuel injected systems, the Autometer widebands are a versatile tool for both tuning and monitoring your fuel curve. We wanted to demonstrate exactly how this information is used in the tuning process, so we took a trip down to see our friends at Anderson Ford in Clinton, Illinois. The Anderson crew has been an authorized Ford racing dealer for over 20 years. They have a full service dyno and tuning center, which was exactly what we needed to demonstrate the awesome potential of precise fuel tuning using our gauge. We use this nearly stock Ford Lightning as our test bed, and the results were pretty incredible. The general rule of thumb is a rich mixture is safer for the engine, while a leaner mixture will develop the most power. When viewing the ratio, a lower number represents a richer or fatter mixture, while a higher number is lean. Most gasoline engines will be stoic, or at their ideal equilibrium, at about 14.7 parts of air to every part of fuel. What are we looking at in the first dyno pole here? What we're seeing here is the air fuel ratio that goes down, goes across. We can see it gets very fat, clear down to 10 to 1. And then we've got the horsepower range all the way across up to 5,500. So, is it safe to assume that we're leaving a little bit of power on the table with this fat mixture here? Yes, a lot of power on the table. Okay, okay. Well, let's uh, fire back up. We are going to do a little tuning here and see if we can't uh, get some more power out of our lightning. Determining the proper fuel trim for a vehicle is a series of compromises balancing safety and overall power. On our Lightning, like most modern fuel injected vehicles, a flash loader is used to change the programming of the engine control module. Special tuning software allows us to make specific changes to the way fuel and spark are delivered to the engine based on what we saw during our first dyno pull. This information is then uploaded through the OBD2 port and we're ready to see how much power we picked up. So what are we seeing in our, in our second graph here? Well, as you can see, we were fat the first run. And this is how much horsepower it made all the way across. When we back, went back and adjust the fuel and also changed the timing, we picked up basically close to 40 horsepower at the rear wheels. It also pulled up and made a little, quite a bit more horsepower on the top. Spectacular, spectacular. And now, where we're at here, are, are, we, are we too lean? Is that w what you would consider a safe uh, safe range for a street driven car? For a street driven car because we're at the top of the gear we're still clear down to 11.5 and it's slowly going down to 11.5 so that works real nice for the street. So let's take it out and see how she runs. The Autometer Wideband, the ultimate tool to safely extract the most power out of your winning ride.